How to 10x your development skills. Work to your strength and your weakness. In this video, we're gonna talk about working to your strengths and to your weaknesses. We all have skills that we're better at and we're more confident in those, we're faster, and we enjoy those probably a bit more because we're good at those skills. Yet the skills that we're not so strong at, maybe we shy away from, we try not to get involved or do that too often because we're slow, we're not very confident. It's natural, it's normal. When we're up against a deadline and we're rushing, we're pushing forward really fast, we always work to our strengths. One, because it's easier for us, it makes more sense. And we have a deadline that we need to work towards. So what does that mean? When you're not under pressure, when you're not stressed, then try and work to your weaknesses. And what I mean by that is if you're more focused at the front end and you know a little bit about the back end, then when, you're, what the, when the pressure is on, you've got a deadline to meet, definitely work in the front end. But when the pressure is a bit lower, maybe swap with your colleague and do some more back end tasks and focus on that. Yes, you'll be a bit slower. Yes, you might have to ask more for help, but you'll only get better. So you're working to your weaknesses and the weaknesses becomes a strength then. You'll always have weaknesses. I know I have mine. And when we're not under pressure, we should really work towards our weaknesses, make them stronger and better in time for those gaps. But when you're under the pressure, yes, work to your strengths. If you're working on a project individually or in a team or in a team at a hackathon, you can still do this. Go to some hackathons that you're gonna use technology that you're not aware of. Maybe join a team of people that do TypeScript or Python or front end or back end. That way, yes, you're gonna be a bit slower at the hackathon, but you're gonna submerge yourself in learning that technology. Whereas if you wanna to go to a hackathon, you really wanna win the prize, then okay, work to your strengths, and therefore you can achieve a lot more. But balance it out, definitely do both. Don't always just work to your strengths. The more you work to your weaknesses, the more they'll become your strengths. If you're in a team, see if you can pick the harder tasks at the beginning of the sprint, the higher risk ones, maybe the ones that aren't your strengths, do those at the beginning of the sprint and then as you get into the second half of the sprint, work to your strengths to make sure you don't miss your estimated deadline. And that, yes, a sprint, an agile sprint is an estimated deadline. Don't let anyone tell you any different as a video for another time, but it drives me crazy when project managers say, that's a deadline you promise to deliver that. No, we endeavor to do our best. It's an estimate. That's why we use story points, not hours. And this is how you can rapidly improve your skills, especially your skills that aren't your main skills. If you want to learn more about improving your coding, tech, development skills, open source, hackathons, tech events and conferences, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and leave a comment. Let me know what you're learning at the moment and what you're into and how I can help you.